speak. Oh, Anna, hello, welcome. Good evening. It's nice to have you. Good evening, teacher. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome. Okay. Also, Marvin is here. Thank you for joining, Marvin. How are you? You good? Thank you so much for being here. We're going to have section number four, the biggest and the best. We're going to have the title of this class is going to be questions of choice. Yes. Class number 12 is the one we're going to have today. So thank you so much for being here, people. Yeah. As you may know, the weekend is there, so we can rest a little bit on this one, right? Yeah. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We're going to start with today's class, as you may know. Class number 12 today. Here we go. Let's begin with the first information that we have about this. Look at this picture here, Anna. Do me a favor and describe the picture. What do you see? Um. It's it's very medicine. Um, uh, a lot of medicine. That is correct. Yeah. And so, eh, uh, how do you say? Se me olvidado grip flu. She's she's she have a flu. Oh, she have or she has. She has, sorry, she has. She has flu and is on bed for the rest. Um, I have tea. She has tea, very good. Um, so let's. No, thank you so much, very good. What are your suggestions or what are your advice for this girl, Anna? Like she's sick, right? With the flu. What are your suggestions? Um, the rest. Okay, uh, rest. What else? Take medicine. Yes. What else? Um, so less. <laughs> Just that. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Very good. So thank you so much for the rest of you. Thank you so for much for joining. Okay. We're going to have this information, as you may know, here, Irma Suleima. Grande. Hello, Irma. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. Sounds good. Do me a favor and read this information, please. Thank you. I read it. Yes, read the information. This one here, please. In North America, people spend more on health, on health care than in other parts of the world. In drugstores and health food stores, people can, can buy over the country medicine for cool, coach and short drugs, uh, as well as vitamins and other supplements, home, rem home remedies for canon, Y no sé cómo se pronuncia ahí, teacher. Illnesses. Illnesses. Illnesses such as colds and sore throats are also popular. What types of medicines and uh, I overlay. Thank you so much, Irma. That's good. That's good. No problem. Thank you so much. Very good. So what is this information about Marvin Alejandro? This information that Irma read, tell me, what is this thing about? Well, I understood about the, in North America, the people spend more money for the, for the care of, of the health. Mm -hmm. For about, for example, the people can buy a, buy medicine for the coach, for example, mm -hmm. coach and sore throat and another supplement. Okay. And the I can understand in North America, the majority of the people buy different kind of the medicine for the health. Okay. 
that is correct. Very good. Thank you so much. Great job. Um, Gerardo, Jose, can you participate, Gerardo? Yes, of course, teacher. Wonderful. Question number one. What type of medicines are available in uh, the counter for calls here or sore throats here in El Salvador? When somebody gets sick, sick with a with calls or maybe sore throat, what is the kind of medicine that these people usually have? Do you um, understand the question, Gerardo? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Eh, bueno, en español dice qué tipo de medicinas están disponibles en el país para los resfriados y los estornudos en, en el país. Oh, right. yeah. mm -hmm. uh, or maybe like the, the, the typical medicine that people usually buy. Like like okay. some some medicine we can buy it on stores, right? Yes. In our country, right? In Excuse our country. Me? In our country. In our country, yeah. So here in El Salvador. Well, uh, George Medicine Jar for for a shower or for a call, for example, uh, acetaminophen. Mm -hmm. Yes. And sometimes we take, uh, sometimes we take uh, ibuprofen or Kamik. Yeah, that is correct. That is correct. Thank you so much. Very good. Irma. Hello, Irma Suleima. Back to you one more time. The second question, Irma. Okay. Do people usually take medicine or use home remedies when they have a call? Mm, I Two questions. Uh, eh, compran, o sea, ¿cómo se dice comprar? Buy. Compran medicina, buy, compran medicina y también usan remedios caseros. Yes, that is correct, right? So, uh, yeah. What kind of remedies, home remedies, do you have or do you drink, do you take when you have a call, Irma? Acetaminophen. No, I'm sorry. Home remedies. Home remedies. Uh, home remedies. Or tea. Oh, tea. Okay, very tea. good. Tea orange or tea lemon. Very good. What else? What else do you add? What is another ingredient that you add? Like lemon and water. What else? Water. Hot water. Water. Do you have honey? Do you have honey with that? Honey and um, lemon. Uh... Okay, very good. Sorry. That's okay, no problem. Very good, okay? Thank you so much. So, we're going to work a little bit on this one. As you may know, we have some remedies, right? Aspirin. Here we have chicken soup, steam tea with lemon and honey, cough medicine and sore throat like lozenges, onion and garlic. So we're gonna classify with home remedies and over the counter drugs. So what are those home remedies? Onion and garlic. Okay, very good, honey. I'm sorry, onions, right? You sorry. Oopsie. Onions and garlic. Okay, what is another home remedy? Tea with lemon and honey. Okay, so tea, very good. Uh, with a lemon, I'm sorry. And honey. Yeah, that is correct, very good. What is something else? What is another home remedy? Aspirin. Aspirin is a home remedy or is a over the counter drugs? Oh. Mm -hmm. What about over the counter drugs? What are those? 
Uh huh. Aspirin. Aspirin, very good. What else? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Aspirin. Yes, what else? What about this one? Cough medicine and sore throat. Los Angeles. What is that? It's a home remedy or over the country? The counter. Mm -hmm. What about this one? Cough medicine and sore throat lozenges. What is this? Is this an over-the-counter drug or is a home remedy? Over-the-counter drug? Exactly, right. Very good. We have a cough of medicine. I'm sorry. I thought I was right, but that's not the case. Uh, medicine and sorry. Throat. Oh my gosh. Okay, very good. What about steam? What is that steam? Is these are over the counter drugs? This one is steam? Or is like home remedies? Home remedies. Home yes. remedies? Exactly. Home remedies, exactly. Right. This is steam. Oh my gosh, Jesus Christ. This thing doesn't allow me. Steam. Do you remember COVID? Yeah. Some people used to do they used to do this one, right? Steam. Yes. With a towel. Yeah, I remember that I did it. I did it once when I got COVID. Yeah, okay. Very good. We're gonna have the grammar part for today. Yesterday, as you may know, we were working a little bit on this one. So we're going to have extra information on how do we work with this one. Uh, I need you to watch the following video, and then we can discuss some exercises about it. Hi again. There are many questions we can ask with how. This time, we'll ask questions related to distance, measurement, descriptions and conditions. As soon as we listen to the explanation, we'll ask you some questions. Get ready. Questions with how. How far is New Zealand from Australia? It's about 2,000 kilometers, 1,200 miles. How big is Singapore? It's 648 square kilometers, 250 square miles. How high is Mount Cook? It's 3,740 meters high, 12,250 feet. How deep is the Grand Canyon? It's about 1,900 meters deep, 6,250 feet. How long is the Mississippi River? It's about 5,970 kilometers long, 3,710 miles. How hot is Auckland in the summer? It gets up to about 23 degrees Celsius, 74 degrees Fahrenheit. How cold is it in the winter? It goes down to about 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. We will use how to ask different types of questions. We will use how this way. How plus adjective plus a verb plus complement, plus question mark. Let's go back to the chart. Notice how, and right after it, we have far. Far is an adjective. How big, big is an adjective. And because we use adjectives, we must use the verb be properly conjugated. How long is the Mississippi River? How is the question word? Long is the adjective. Is is the verb be in singular. Mississippi River is the complement. Ready to answer? Here we go. How big is your country? How tall are you? Which one is the longest river in your country? How long is it? 
As we always ask you to do, please write your responses in our discussion box. Yesterday, as you may remember, we were working with questions with how. Here, as you may know, we have the double H word, which is how, and here we have the adjectives. Yes, so we use the adjectives here, right? Adjective, adjective. Also, we have the verb to be, which is is, and we're gonna have this way to answer, right? Here is the USA, right? Measurement. And here we have El Salvador, right? Yes. Don't forget that depending on the adjective, that is the way we are going to answer. Yes. If we are going to answer about distance, how long? Okay. Height, how high? Uh, I don't know, about the weather, we can use cold or hot. Yes, right. So this is the way we are going to use um, this grammar part. We, we saw this one yesterday, remember? We saw this one yesterday. Do you have a question about this? Any question about this content? Everything is clear? Yes? One more time, we're gonna have questions with how. So you can say, how cold is Toronto in the winter? Yes, so here we have the different measure uh, we can have. Let's listen the audio and pronunciation, please. Page 96, exercise 10, grammar focus. Questions with how. How cold is Toronto in the winter? It gets down to minus 25 degrees Celsius, minus 13 degrees Fahrenheit. How hot is Fairbanks in the summer? It gets up to about 20 degrees Celsius, 68 degrees Fahrenheit. How far is Toronto from Fairbanks? It's about 4,800 kilometers, 3,000 miles. How big is Seoul? It's 605 square kilometers, 233.6 square miles. How high is Mount Everest? It's 8,848 meters high, 29,028 feet. How long is the Mississippi River? It's about 3,700 kilometers long, 2,300 miles. How deep is the Grand Canyon? It's about 1,828 meters deep, 6,000 feet. So, thank you so much. Now let's take a look. Okay. Page. We're going to have this ready. Yes. We are going to have. Let me see, Anna. Um, Anna Janice. Yeah. Thank you. You are going to read this part here. Yes. Okay. Um, Kathy Hornados Cruces, can you participate? Yes or no? Good night, teacher. Yes. Oh, please. You're going to be this part. This part is for you, okay? Kathy? Yes, teacher. So when, when Anna finish, you start. Ready? Let's begin. Now, the rest of you, I'm sorry. The rest of you pay attention on this one and read at the same time, because then I have some questions for you about this really. Okay? So please, Anna, let's begin. Antar Antarctica is the most southern continent in the world. It's lying nowhere else on Earth. It's more larger, larger than Europe and nearly twice, twice the size of Australia. It's an easy, icy plateau with the South Pole at its center. Antarctica is the coldest and windiest place in the world. Even colder, even colder and 
windier than the North Pole, although 98% of Antarctica is covered in ice. It is considered a desert. Along the coast, and of precipitation is only uh, two, 200 millimeters, eight inches a year. Very few plants grow there, but there is some wild wildlife, including wild seals and penguins. In the summer, the sun in the summer the sun shines for 24 hours a day, but in the winter it's completely dark for about three months. When Captain James Cook sailed around the continent in the 1770s, he found no one living there. Today, a few scientists work in Antarctica, but they only spend fairly short periods of time there. Many of these scientists live and work on the Antarctic Peninsula. This area is the closest part of Antarctica to South America, the continent's nearest neighbor. Many of the scientists are studying the effects of climate change there. Antarctica has war warmed by about two that five degrees Celsius since one thousand nine hundred fifty. Some ice is melting in certain parts of the continent. However, unlike the vast melting that is happening in the Arctic. The ice in Antarctica is actually growing in spite of global, global warming. Scientists think that this cold and lonely place can teach us a lot about the Earth and how to keep it safe. Thank you so much, Kathy. Okay, Kathy, you need to check um, ending pronunciation with regular verbs, okay? Because here we have sail, sail. Um, also here we have warm, warm, the, the, warmed. Okay, uh, with numbers we have a seven, seventeen seventies. Okay, and here we have nineteen fifty. Yeah. Also here we have the word climate, climate change. Okay, um, what else? Yeah, I think the rest is very good. Thank you so much, the two of you, for participating on this one. Be ready, because next I have another thing for you, people, which is this one. True and false. Uh -huh. Antarctica is bigger than Europe. What do you think is here? True or false? It's true. Okay, thank you. Okay, what about the number two? The North Pole is the coldest place in the world. That's true or false? What do you think about this one? Uh -huh, Irma Suleyma. What do you think, true or false? Irma? True. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The answer is false. Very good. Nice false. try. Catherine. Number three, Catherine Nicole Salazar Larios. Number three. I think Catherine. Okay. 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 Okay, Roberto, also Francisco, thank you so much, no problem. Okay, Oscar, no problem, thank you so much. Um, Sebastiana, thank you so much, Sebastiana. Are you here? Can you participate, Sebastiana? 
Good evening, teacher. Yes. Thank you. Please, number three. True or false? Mm, I think it's true. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. No, I'm not sorry. That's okay, no problem. The cows in Antarctica get a lot of snow. Okay. Okie dokie. Diana Cristabel Melendez, number four. In Antarctica, it never gets dark in the summer. That is true or false, Diana? I think it's false. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It's going to be true. Just in winter, just in winter. Ana Ruth Perez. Number five, Anna Ruth. Okay. Let me select another one. Okay, okay. Kathy, please, number five. I think that is true. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Discover a few people living there. No, I'm sorry, that is false. Thank you so much. Marvin, number six. I think it's true. That is correct. The Antarctic Peninsula is the closest part of the Antarctica to South um, America. What about the number seven? Mm -hmm. Which one? What is the number seven? True or false? Sebastiana? It's false. Okay, thank you so much. That's false, that is correct. Yeah. I said Antarctica is really throughout the continent. That, that's absolutely true, incorrect. That's false, very good. Yes, thank you so much. This thing is not a piece of cake. It's not how difficult, right? How do we deal with this one, okay? So thank you so much. We're gonna, I'm gonna take the attendance. Just a, a quick thing in Spanish. Recordarles lo de realizar los ejercicios yes, uh, de la plataforma. El día de mañana voy a tener disponibilidad en la tarde para pues, atenderlos de las eh, 3 hasta las 5 de la tarde. Voy a estar pues um, ven, voy a estar trabajando en la computer, entonces uh, pues voy a poder atenderlos. Right? En el caso tengan alguna duda de algún ejercicio, puede escribirme en ese time. Y con gusto, pues, le apoyo en ese period of time tomorrow. Para los que no han terminado los ejercicios de la plataforma. Yes. Ok. Y con gusto, I will help you. Ok. Ana Isela Janes Ángel. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Welcome. Ana Ruth Pérez Leiva. Anna Ruth, I think I saw you, Anna. Anna Ruth, I think she's here, but she doesn't have the chance to speak. Thank you, Anna. Thank you so much. Very good. I got you here. Thank you. Andrea Esmeralda Flores Hernandez. Andrea Esmeralda Flores? No. Andrea, Andrea, no, she isn't. Okay, that's that's where. Diana Cristabel Melendez Rivera. Present. Good evening, welcome. Francisco Valdomar López Martínez. Thank you so much, Francisco. Welcome. Present. Y Present. Gerardo José Tepa Sánchez. I'm here. Thank you, Gerardo. It's nice to have you. Irma Zuleima Grande de Cuellar. Present teacher. Thank you so much and good evening. Jose Edgardo Mendez Miranda. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Catherine Suleima Pocasangre Escobar. Catherine Suleima Pocasangre Escobar. Let me see. I think I saw Catherine. Catherine. Catherine Nicole Salazar. That is not that somebody else. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. I'm sorry, okay? Yes, welcome. So, it's Catherine Zuleima Pocasangre. She's now here. Kathy Jornada Dos Cruces. Welcome. Good evening. Marvin Alejandro Landaverde Arias. Present, teacher. 
Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar Otoniel Cruz Guzman. Hello, Oscar. I think it's Oscar. Let me check. Really quick. Oscar. Oscar. No, he, no, he isn't. That's right. Uh, Roberto Carlos, I think, uh, yes, you told, you told me in the chat that you're busy, right? Roberto. Yes, thank you so much, Roberto. It's nice to have you. And Sebastiana Guadalupe Aguilar. Present. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, let's continue with the exercises. Here we have another one. This one somehow is difficult. Okay, so I need you to pay attention. How do we do this one? So you don't miss uh, the information. Marvin, please uh, read everything you see on the screen, please. Thank you. Well, I can see... Uh... Let me see. No, I mean, read read everything. Please. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes. Geography quiz. Choose the word in the box. Write question about the picture, then circle the correct answer. How big? How cold? How deep? How far? How long? And how high? continue here please thank you ah oh, okay how high is on your house it's 97 meters 3000 i don't know how oh it's 97 meter high so we have 900 and uh, 900 79 79 Meters. Meter, meters high. Very good. That is correct. So thank you so much. So here we're going to do the same. We're going to get one of these ones to talk about this one. Okay. And then you need to select the correct answer here. Volunteers for number two. Yay. Let's get right. Everybody. Okay. Everybody ready. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Don't worry, I will help you. I will help you on this, right? So what is the question here in number two? How long, teacher? Who's that, Sebastiana or Anna? Anna. Thank you, how long? What is next? Is the Jansi River? That is correct. How long is the Jansi River? What is the correct option here, A or B? A. That is correct, thank you. Now read the question and then read the answer, please. Thank you. How long is the Jansi River? It's six six thousand don't flap six thousand three twenty hundred kilometers three mile. Uh, okay, one more time. Six thousand thousand three hundred kilometers kilometers. Three thousand. Three thousand. Nine hundred. Sixteen miles long. Sixteen or seventeen. Uh, seventeen. Sorry. Yeah, seventeen miles <laughs> long. Very good. One more time, please, Anna. The okay. question and then the answer. Okay. How long is the Jansi River? It's six thousand. 300 kilometers and 3,917 3, miles long. 
that is correct thank you so much very good okay thank you let's work with the next one be ready at home be ready at home people okay thank you irma suleima the next one is for you number yes. three what is the question in number three how cool how cool is is the antarctic what is the correct answer a or b How in four or three? No, I'm sorry, number three. What is the correct answer, A or B? Mm, a. So you see that is incorrect because if you see, up, guess up. Mm, B. Exactly, up is arriba, right? Yeah, so that means it's hot. So the correct answer should be letter B. Okay, now please, Irma, read the question and then read the answer. How cool is Antarctica? It gets down down to uh, a a eight, minus eight, minus minus eight. 88. 88. 3. 3. 3. 3. Degrees Celsius. Very good. Now, one more time, please. The question and then the answer. How cool is Antarctic? It get, gets down, down to point uh, minus. Minus 88.3. Three de degrees Celsius. Degrees Celsius. Repeat. Degrees it, Celsius. It degrees Celsius. Yeah. One more time. Degrees Celsius. Degrees Celsius. Degrees Celsius. The degrees Celsius. Very good. One more time. Degrees Celsius. Better. Very good. Great job. Thank you so much. Um, let me see, Jose Edgardo, can you participate, Jose? No, right. You're having a problem with your microphone, I guess. Thank you so much. Um, let me share. Oh, can you participate? Yes. Yes. Please, number four. Thank you. Uh, how big is Australia? No, I'm sorry. That's that's good, but that's that's incorrect. I'm sorry. Mm. Um. Hold on, no, even. No, I'm sorry. How far? Oh, yes, very good. How far? Thank you. How far? Okay, so how far? What is next? Oh, Jesus, I'm sorry. Uh huh. Is New Zealand from Australia? Is it New um, Zealand. I'm sorry. Is it? Um, mm. no, is it? Is it? Is it? Is. Now, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Mm. New Zealand. From Australia. Mm. 
No, I'm sorry. No, teacher. Yeah, how far is uh is it Australia to New Zealand? Mm. Yes. New Zealand. Yeah. How far is it Australia to New Zealand? Oh, let me see. I think we're gonna have this one. How far is it from Australia to New Zealand? Yeah, that's good. Very good. What is the correct answer here, number four? A or B? A. Okay, thank you so much. Now read the question and then read the answer, please. Thank you. How far is it from Australia to New Zealand? It's about 2,000 kilometers, in parentheses, 1,200 miles. That is correct. Very good. Okay. Thank you so much. Let me see that another one. Um, Diana Cristabel. Hello, Diana Melendez. This one is here, number five, Diana, please. Okay. I think so, how far? Oh, no, no, no. So the um, who deep the almonds eat is the Amazon right for it? Teacher, I don't heard you. No, so are you? Jesus, my mic was <laughs> off. I don't know. I don't know how como lo hice, but it was off. I'm sorry. Okay. Do you need help with this one? With the number five? Um, who deep is the Amazon right for it? No, I'm sorry. I apologize. No. Oh, That's yeah. incorrect. Tell me another option. How? How big? Yeah, very good. How big? Oh my gosh. How big is the Amazon? Very good. Rain. Forest, right? Yeah. Oopsie. Oh my gosh. Okay, what is the correct answer, please? Tell me, what's the correct answer to this question? Diana, Cristabel. A or B? I think letter B. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. So the answer should be this one. Now, please, do me a favor, Diana. Read the question and then read the answer. It says million square kilometers. 2.5 million square miles. Okay, thank you so much. Very good. I will read it and you repeat, Diana. Okay? Yes? Okay. Good. It's how big is the Amazon rainforest? How big is the Amazon rainforest? It's 6 it's million. 6 million. It's 6 million square kilometers. Kilometers. Numbers. 2.5 million square miles. 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 
Very good. Thank you so much. Right. Very good. So just have million here and miles. Million and miles. Okay. Wonderful. Great job. Okay. And let me see who else wants to participate with number six. We started from the bottom now we're here. It is the number six. Yep. Thank Anybody? You, oh, thank you, Kathy. Thank you. What is the uh, question? How deep is the Grand Canyon? Yes, deep is the Grand Canyon. Oh my. What is the correct answer? And the letter B. Please, now read the question and then read the answer, please. How deep is the Grand Canyon? It's about 1.6 kilometers deep. Perfect, that's very good. Any question, people, about this information? This is the way we do it, right? This is the way we do it. Give me a minute so I can show you the next exercise. Thank you. Thank you. Here we have these questions, right? Please read the questions. Um, let me see. Irma Suleyma, please read the questions. All the questions, please. Thank you. These questions about your country. How, how big is the large city? What's the weather's month? What's the driest month? How long, how, how hot does it go get in the summer? How cold does it get in the winter? How high, how high in the high, highest mountain? What's the mount? the most beautiful town to to busy busy very good thank you so much so this is about our country el salvador right there are some questions that we can answer like easily but there are one of some of them that are quite difficult because we need to google the information right for example how big is the largest city yes uh we need to google it what is that right we, we, i don't know i have no idea what's the wettest month this one maybe we can say right what's the wettest month here in winter uh-huh yes october right is the wettest month what about oh jesus what about the, the number three what's the driest month that we have here in el salvador May. Maybe May, right? Very good. May is the driest. Then we have how hot does it get in the summer? For that one, we need to have like the, the numbers, right? So we don't have it right. How cold? Does it get in with the winter also? Here we need to have like um the numbers or clearly, right? So we can answer. How high is the is the highest mountain also, right? We need to have a number. In number seven, what's the most beautiful town in the it to visit? Here in the seven. What is the most beautiful town? Yes. What is that? Okay. I think it's okay. Rosa de Lima, right? Yes, I don't know what is that one, but it sounds good. It's the most beautiful.
much, Shady. Alegría, teacher. Alegría, that's Usulotan, right? Yes? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's another one. That's another one. Alegría is like Berlin, right? Berlin. Yes. Also. yes. That's good. Very good. Yes. What is another place? What about... <laughs> what about Lourdes Colón? Okay. <laughs> Santa Ana, teacher. Santa Ana. If, if you go to Lourdes Colón, you can enjoy the Los, Los Chorros Street, right? <laughs> so you can... <laughs> I live Lourdes Colón. Oh, I I'm sorry. And... <laughs> I'm sorry, Irma. I'm sorry, okay? I apologize for that one, okay? <laughs> Like three hours in, uh, on that. Yeah, three hours on Los Chorros Street. Oh, that's unbelievable. Yeah, like three hours. That's too much. Yeah, I'm so I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Irma, about it. Yeah, because that's, that's not good. I am born in Santa Ana. Oh, oh, that's good. That's good, right? Santa Ana is another beautiful city. It's another beautiful city, right? That's good. So the rest of the questions, right? We need to Google it, the information, and well, we don't have the time to do so. So that's why we are not going to answer these ones. Okay. We're going to do the next exercise, which is about adjectives. Look at this one. Please tell me. What's the name of this animal, Kathy? It's an elephant. Oh, I think it, this was Manjula. That's what I thought at the beginning, right? Oh, or a mammoth. Yeah, no, I mean, no, no, this is an elephant. This is an <laughs> elephant, Manjula, but I think I was thinking about Manjula. Do you know who was Manjula? Yes. Oh, yeah, that was, I missed that animal. Yeah, we killed that animal. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the animal was very nice. Yeah, I remember. And what about this one? What is the name of this animal? Kathy? Mande? What is the name of this animal? An elephant? No, this one. Ah, uh, a mouse. A mouse, right? It's not a rat, the one that we have in the market, right? When you go to uh, El Central, right? Yeah, you have big rats over there. So, <laughs> so no, this is a, uh, a mouse, right? This is a very, like, tiny animal. Yeah, very good. So, look at here. We have adjectives, right? And we are going to look for the opposites, yeah? So here we have some opposite adjectives. First of all, let's read all the adjectives and then we can work with the opposite. Marvin, please read all these adjectives and then read all the adjectives. Just do me a favor. Please say number one, biggest. And then when you read this column here, read letter A, better. Letter B, okay? Okay. Biggest, bad. Oh, excuse Short. me. No, please say number one. Ah, biggest. Letter F. No, excuse me. No, you say number one, biggest, number two, bad, and so on and so on. Ah, okay. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> uh, number one, biggest. Number two, bad. Number three, shorter. Number four, worse. Number five, worse. Number six, near. Number seven, lowest. Number eight, driest. Number nine, hot. Number 10, shortest. Number 11, hotter. Number 12, smaller. Number 12, colder. Number 14, weather. Number 16, dry. Number 16, height. Ah, no, letter A, better. Letter B, weather. Letter, letter C, colder. Letter D, dry. Letter I, oldest. Letter F, smaller. Letter, letter H, far. Letter, I'm sorry, letter C is right. <laughs> letter H, bigger. Letter I, good. Letter G, G, right? G best, letter Q, low, letter L, the oldest, 
letter M, logs, letter N, wet, letter O, holler, and letter P, cold. Good. So you have a few mistakes, for example, here. How do you say this number? 13. 13. Uh, 13. 13. Very good. How do you say this letter? Letter E. That is I'm correct. Sorry. Uh -huh, letter E. What about here? Letter G. That is correct. Letter Q. K. K, I'm sorry. Yeah, and this one? Letter... I forget this one. J. Letter J. This letter one. I. Very good. That's correct. Right. Thank you so much. So we're going to write the opposite. Thank you, Marvin. We're going to write the opposite. What is the the first one is biggest. We're going to have the opposite, which is far. I'm sorry, smallest. What about number two? What is the opposite of number two? Letter A, better. No, oh, I'm sorry. I know what. Letter I, good. Letter I, that is correct. Oh, I'm sorry, I need to write the letter because this thing is like too, too like big. Okay. Thank you. What about number three? Shorter. Letter H, bigger. No, I'm letter sorry. H. Letter O, taller. Letter O, yes, that is correct. Thank you. What about here? Worse? Better. I better. Better. No, I'm sorry. Letter A. Letter A better? Yes. I guess yeah. yes, ma'am. Yes. What about this one? Worst. Letter J, best. Letter J, teacher. Thank you. What about near? Letter G. Letter D, four. Yeah, that's correct. Letter G. Seven, lowest. Letter I, highest. Letter I. No, because letter I, we have it with bad. I is here. What is it's the letter? Letter L. A, yeah, that is correct. That's the letter, letter L. Very good. What about dries? What is the opposite of dries? Uh huh. What is the meaning of dries? It's letter B. Wettest. Wettest. Very good. Wettest. Very good. Hot. Number nine. What is the opposite? Letter N, well. E, letter P, cold. Letter P, that is correct. P, Peter, right. A shortest. Shortest. Letter M, longest. Mary. Yeah, that is correct. Harder. Harder. Colder, letter C. That is correct. Very good. The smaller. A smaller. Uh huh, is smaller. Smaller. Little yeah. old taller. No, I'm sorry. It's bigger. 
letter H, that is correct. Yes, yes very good. Call this. Forest. Letter. Oh, I'm sorry. Letter. The David Dryer. Very no. good. Weather. Oh, I'm sorry. I think I did a mistake. But this one, I think, is letter E. I'm letter sorry. E. Yeah, it's letter E here. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm, <laughs> yeah, that is correct. Mm. Sorry, I did a mistake here. Thank you. And here, we're going to have that one. Very good. What about number 15? Dry. Wet. That is correct. N. Yeah. And the last one is going to be letter. Uh huh. Letter K. K. Letter K. Okay. So this is the way we do it. Right. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Enjoy your weekend. Be nice and kind and respect para que lo see you next class on monday take care good night bye bye good night bye, -bye. wonderful good night.